Hey, what's going on YouTube? Pochi Force here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Skyrim with our dark thief here, Evelyn. We're here at Bleak Falls Barrow on a mission, both for for Farangar's Secret Fire and Lucan Valerius. Far, uh, Farangar wants us to get him the Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow, whereas uh, Lucan Valerius asked us to retrieve his Golden Dragon Claw that was stolen by some bandits. And I see some bandits off in the distance here. We also got some skeevers in the ground. Sneak around and loot them for some things. I'm gonna go a third person here. I always find that sneaking's better in third person. You have a better view of your surroundings for the most part. It also lets you corner peek, something like that. See? I can see them just fine. If I was in first person view, I wouldn't see a thing. So, um, but I always shoot bows in first person view. So, I'm going to see if I can't kill one of these guys before they even know I'm here. I hit him. Follow-up shot was poor. Time to go hide in a corner. Hope I don't get seen. Right there. And that's one down. She's gonna pull her weapon and be like, what was that? Oh, oh she's dying but ain't dead. And that finishes that off. Alright. Loot their bodies, see what we can find. I'm not picking any armor. Because it's gonna be heavy. No, thank you. Pick the lock. Leave the boots behind. Don't need the boots. No? Okay, then. Uh, continuing onward. Sneak walking. Search the urn, get some more gold. Now honestly, um, I think the thief gameplay is going a little slow. I'm trying to keep these episodes to under 30 minutes. I don't want them to run too long. I don't want you guys to get bored. But thief gameplay tends to drag things out a little bit. Like if I was playing a warrior or something like that, I would have been through this hallway already. So here's an idea and I want you guys to consider this. Um, I'll post uh, the question in the description as well, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments, but, uh, what do you think about starting over with a different character? Evelyn here is cool and all that, but she's probably not YouTube material. Warriors are a lot more exciting and in your face. Um, maybe some kind of, uh, Nord or Orc to try to, uh, help us out there. Just a thought, uh, let me know what you guys think in the description, um, maybe starting over with a different character. And let's see if I can't get up behind this guy and stab him before he gets... How did I miss? Now I need to back up because he just set off that trap. And... I am dying. What potions do I have? A lot of potions and minor healing. That's it. That's all you've got. I'm dying again. Pay for that. I cannot test you. That could have gone better. 
but it also could have gone worse, aka he could have killed me. Alright, so that is a booby trap. We saw what happens when you just walk up and pull the lever. I have to rotate these to match those. Now we got a snake, some rubble, and a fish. Down here we have another snake, which, safe to say, probably used to be up there. So we're going to go snake, snake, fish. Uh, snake, snake, fish. Snake. Snake. It's not turning. None of these are turning. Well then, um, I think I hit some kind of glitch trying to kill him. Uh, be right back. And welcome back, everybody. I had to replay through that area. This time I just let him kill himself on the booby trap. Make things a little easier. And here's hoping that we can spin these now. Oh, I think I done broke the game hardcore. Oh, I broke the game hardcore. That will not turn. I know it's not the X button, because look, I walk over here. Search Bandit Thug. No problem. I can go through his loot. I can hit take all. Leave him butt naked on the ground. But. I done broke the game. Let's try using the lever myself. I know that gets me hit with poison for a little bit. But maybe that'll help reset the trap. Can I spin these now? I cannot. Well then. Uh, there's one of those game breaking glitches that everyone was talking about. So, I guess that makes the decision for us. You know how I was talking about maybe we'll play a different character. I'm sorry, Evelyn. I am I am so very sorry. I am so very sorry. But you are now unplayable. We cannot progress through the game any further. It is bugged hardcore. I guess that next time I know better. I'm just going to let him kill himself or I'm going to uh the trick is don't Engage him in a fight as he's pulling the lever. That's the trick. Um, I know that for next time. But I guess... Evelyn is no more. It is time... To start over. There's a few game-breaking bugs like that. Like, for example... Uh, on a character I did on my own time... Who was a thief... I learned under no circumstances... Should you break into the general store in Whiterun because that could co potentially cause a bug where he never has any inventory. You talk to him, and the option to buy or sell either does not appear or it does appear. Experience once they happen... See, I'm, I'm, you can hear me pushing the X button. Nothing is happening. <sighs> All right, be right back. Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. All right, everyone, and we're back. And seeing as poor Evelyn is forever trapped in Bleak Falls Barrow, it's time to start with a new character. And we're gonna just go ahead and make that warrior that I was talking about. Now, I thought about doing an Argonian at first, but Argonians, I realized, while well, they have the his skin, and it's a really good ability for, like, heavy armor users, tanks that want to try to survive a lot of hits because of the health regeneration. Um. You there. Step forward. They don't really have the skills at the gate to be a good warrior, and trying to level them up to be a good warrior can be a challenge because of that. So, I'm thinking instead... I'm going to go for an orc. And I'm thinking maybe an orc female film because all the male orcs are pretty hideous. Truthfully, most of the female orcs are too, but I've found that if you finagle it a little bit, you get a decent looking female orc. Um, but I'm just going to do that off camera because character creation is long and it took forever last time. So we'll be right back once our character is complete. And there we go, everybody. Not so bad looking, right? The pretty blue eyes. 
almost human looking, except for the slight curl to the nose and the green tinted skin. But uh, I think we're done with this character. We're going to name her. Fairest of them all, at least as far as orcs are concerned. You from one of the strongholds, orc. How did you end up here? Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. She's gonna look good in orcish I'm armor, sorry. too. I'm looking we'll forward sure to getting that orcish smithing up. Follow the captain, prisoner. So I'm thinking this is gonna be kind of a good guy. It's the reason why the, the color of the war paint on her cheek is white. Um, kind of like a paladin type deal. We'll start off with the usual arm stuff, you know, heavy armor, shield and sword, or shield Some and maybe axe, call you a hero, because that just seems like the sort of thing you expect a, a uh, to murder his king and usurp his an orc to use. Axe or hammer, perhaps. Plunge Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace seen all this so what was that once as soon as I'm capable of Carry moving on. I'm going to uh, yes, show you the quick and dirty way Defender that I get through this first part without having to stand around and wait for people to, to talk blessings of the but divines upon for the love of Talos the cool thing here is you know as you wish playing a warrior is a bit more straightforward hopefully we'll avoid any game-breaking bugs like we Come had on. with poor Evelyn Evelyn will always be remembered. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Plus, I think it's going to be a lot more fun. We'll get through things at a faster pace. Instead of sneaking up on people and stabbing them in the back. As fun as that is, I really enjoy playing sneak type characters. Don't get me wrong. They're just probably not good for YouTube. Next, the orc. The orc. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. No, you the said the orc. Nice I gotta be honest, I don't like this lady. She's really mean. She's very gruff. And she's probably the only incentive I see to join the Stormcloaks at the gate because you're given the option to kill her if you start off leaving with, uh... Um, Rayloff instead of Hadvar. But for warrior type characters, I'd rather re leave with uh, Hadvar because Hadvar makes you friends with Alvor, which means you get a whole bunch of free smithing materials without having to steal them, and that's good. I just wish they had fixed all the bugs. Oh, okay, and then what we do instead of standing down here, we just continue on up the stairs. He pops out. He breathes fire. We don't want to get burned. Then we go ahead and jump through the roof without prompting. And then the trick to the rest of this is that we actually don't need to stop moving now. We can just keep going. You need to get over here! Now! Run, run, run. Run straight past the dragon. Down here. And if you keep up like this, the dragon can't even keep up with you. He doesn't get in front of you. You just keep going. And you don't even have to uh, pay attention to these two gentlemen. Over here. You can just walk right by them. Don't need to be accompanied by either of them and go in whichever door you want. This door is the one for Hadvar. And that turns what's usually like... A four to five minute run if you're actually stopping and listening to them talk and going through all the steps at a normal pace. Get it done in like 30 seconds. The other downside to going this way is that you don't, because you don't kill Miss High and Mighty Imperial Soldier, you don't get her Imperial Plate right out the gate so you can't start leveling heavy armor immediately. Come here. Let me see if I can get those but, bindings off. 
I'd rather have the smithing materials to make my own steel armor once there I get out. Go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear. She's to tall from. too. Like I'm going to see stand if I can right find next to him. Taller than he is, and that's good because I like my warriors to be big, strong, intimidating people. If they're like small little wood elves, then it's you better get some gear. Hardly a warrior, isn't it? I am going to do a sword and board Swing character. Stick. Just because that's how I prefer to play warriors. I've tried a two-handed character before, and it's alright, but... There we go. You can even preempt Hadvar. Go in here and do it yourself. Now you're mine. Get some shots in on these guys before they even start responding. We only want you to cross. All right. Let me see if I can get that door open. Oh, they had a shield, so that's good. I already have a shield. Excellent. It's actually better than before. So we'll equip the hide shield and the fur gauntlet so we can start working on our block skill. This guy over here, I believe, yes he does, have an iron war axe. So we will equip that. Now I don't know if I've mentioned this before, there is a certain... Uh, oh, iron mace, let's equip that instead. There is a certain hierarchy among weapons. The swords are the fastest, but the least damaging. The war axes are a bit slower, but do a bit more damage, and the iron maces, or the, the maces, are the slowest, but have the highest damage. And it goes the same for the two-handed weapons as well. The two-handed swords are the fastest, the two-handed maces are the slowest, and the damage is reversed. The maces do the most damage, and the swords do the least amount of damage. Daggers are kind of their own thing, and kind of behave like one-handed swords. I want to just do a mace because the idea is that I'm going to just kind of club people over the head and they're going to die. And it's going to be awesome. Where are you? I mean, where am I? Come on. Escape. Boom. Club them down. Now, I did... I do believe I've turned up the difficulty setting as well, so the enemies are going to be a little bit tougher. But they're going to have more interesting loot. Can I take that arrow? I can take that arrow. Where Hadvar missed. Roll of paper. Don't need that. Wine, of course, we need that. We're warriors, and that automatically makes us out uh, raging alcoholics. Right? That's how that works, right? I've always been taught that's how that works. Get all that. Now, as always, I always, always do alchemy. Always, always do smithing. And always, always do enchanting, because... Those are awesome skills, and everyone should do them. So we need to taste test our ingredients here to get us started on that, and also because it lines up our load a little bit. Done then. This way. Yes. One thing I don't like about the console version of the game, because I have played this on PC, is that the console version... You have no room for mods. So... You fellows happened along just in time. These boys... Like, look how skinny I look. My arms are bony. You don't expect that from a, uh... From a warrior. So, there's a lot of mods on the 
PC version, some of them are really stupid, but then some of them are like nice quality of life upgrades. Like some of them make the cities more interesting. And then there's ones that I use, especially if I'm playing female warriors, that gives the uh, the females in the game a more diverse set of body types. Like you can have fat ones, you can have muscular ones, you can have all kinds of cool stuff going on on the PC version. I'm just going to have to try to cover up the fact that I am really, really bony with some really bulky armor. And let's put on that iron shield. Oh, they'll come to think of it. I did hear some. Well, yeah, I always do lock picking too, if only because there's no way to just bash down and break a lock. Which I think is like. With us, we need to get out of here. Probably a failure on the no part of the game because it's immersion breaking. It's like I'm this big bad warrior. I don't need a thing. I solve everything with violence and force. And now I'm gonna pull out my lock picks and I'm gonna pick a lock. And I'm going to do Don't it quietly and stealthily. Ages ago, poor fellow screamed for weeks. You, you see what see I'm saying there? That's why it's a problem. But lockpicking is pretty essential, unless you just want to not ever get into some of the best chests in the game, because they all are locked with master locks. Yep. Skyrim! Funded by master lock. Sure. Take all my... But as you can probably see, like I said, it makes getting through places just a little bit faster when you're a warrior and you don't have to worry about being stealthy. So we are going to go ahead and learn any spells as we go. Because at some point we may decide to take up spell craft, I don't know. We're never going to be a thief, because thieves are bad guys, and we should be a good guy. But that doesn't necessarily mean we won't take up spells at some point. We're just not going to really, really focus on it. To be honest, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't mind if we never touched a single spell in the game. But the spells are one of the most interesting things. And really, I would love to do like a triple playthrough, where I play like on different characters at different times but I'm just not sure how I would be able to set that up or organize it. But let me know what you guys think, whether you would like to see me play just this warrior straight through, if you'd like me to occasionally like jump to like maybe, I don't know, a thief or... If you got any ideas on how to go about that, they're much appreciated. Skeletons. Where in Oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Meet these warriors head on. Can't see. Oh, sorry. Not dealt with him. You've already lost. Like the bite of flee. <laughs> Eventually I'd get through his shield. Alright. Uh we'll take his longbow. Basically, any and all feedback is appreciated. Still kind of new to this whole Let's Play thing. Just trying to have fun with it. Hopefully it's fun for you guys as well. But I think, just like we did with Evelyn, we'll call it a day once we get out of here.
Alright, again, I'm gonna just preempt Hadfar here. Down here. Take the left. There's another way to get down here, but I didn't feel like waiting for it. Time to beat up on some spiders. That half second freeze was interesting. And you see, that's what I'm talking about, because you see, it would have taken me longer with a sword than it did the mace. I think I'm going to prioritize maces, but I'm also going to probably put points into other weapon types as well. Just in case I decide to switch up, because you never know. Plus, certain weapons, uh, like I know there are special, special weapons out there that I can't make that I just kind of happen upon. And those are preset, like I can't choose to make, let's say for example, the Dawnbreaker is always going to be a sword. Do about that. Now I need Hadvar for this part. That's a bear just ahead. See her? Let's also favorite some items here. I favorite the iron shield. I'm gonna favorite our mace. And we'll favorite the longbow. Go ahead and equip the longbow. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. He's gonna give me some arrows. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. I always kill the bear, because the bear, bear pelt lucky. gives us leather, you which can we can use to make. Equipment. Take it by surprise. Go Plus ahead. the bear claws are pretty I'll decent. Uh, alchemical ink. Not the snaking type, huh? Where'd you come? Dead bear. Still roaring, but dead. Oh, and it had a silver ring too. That's another benefit of playing on a higher difficulty, is that, uh, generally the gear drops. Start sneaking now. We'll start sneaking now. There's nothing left. We're free and clear now, guys. So... I'm sorry we ended up having to change characters and starting over, but hopefully this will ultimately be better. Maybe it's for the best. Uh, if you have any advice on how to go through the game, if there's anything you would like to see me go do first... Please let me know. This is this is going to be a fun thing that we're doing together. So that's it for now, guys. I'm Poji Force, and until next time, stay awesome. Take care, guys. Your turn. Not balanced. See if I can't take out one leg. <laughs>